when I'm the application and say Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Black Onyx. Today is November 19th, and of course this video is brought to you by my lovely sponsors over at fashionwithfifi.com. Head over to the website, the link will be posted in the video description box. Alright you guys, so um, before we begin, I just wanted to show you guys my earrings, and these of course are my Wawa Abba Jas Triple Jasper earrings. And these are actually made with real Picasso Jasper gemstones. And they're made to sh um, be shaped like Wawa Abba, which is the West African, which is the West African Adinkra symbol. And the symbol basically means strength, perseverance. It's basically ba um, from the Wawa Abba tree, so it means strength and perseverance. So basically, it just means sh your strength, strong. So that's just the mood that I was in today. So. Um, so I know you guys usually see my big earrings, so if you haven't been over to my store, Naimani Chic, which is www.naimanichic.etsy.com, I have big funky earrings and different items, and I also have more classy pieces like so. Um, I like to wear real gemstones sometimes because it just makes me feel like classy. So I'm like, even though I was just going to the store, I have on a freaking t-shirt, but who says you can't wear some cute earrings to go along with it? So... I freaking love these and I always get compliments on them. Yeah. So they're real. And the Picasso Jasper um gemstones, like they have some really beautiful natural designs in there. So definitely you won't see another chick rocking these. So alright you guys. So this isn't even a happy video. I'm mad. I'm so upset. Let me tell you. So I have like video like I have movies that I was like looking forward to seeing. First it was good hair. Then y'all see how that one was. And then I had Precious, The Blind Side, and what else? Oh, let's check it. Couples are cheap. Okay, let's go ahead and get the facts on this. Which one am I going to talk about first? I'm going to talk about Precious. This is going to be my Precious movie rant. My thing is, I'm not so happy right now because I can't even see Precious. The movie's been out for like how long? Like so many people have been like, oh my gosh, it's such a fabulous movie. Okay, I teared up just watching the preview when I was at the movie theater. And I was like, okay, I put it in my phone, the alarm and everything for all these movies to come out. First of all, I'm cheap, so I'm not really going to pay to go to a movie. So the fact that I actually want to go and I can't go, that really like upsets me. So it says available in select theaters. What does that mean, select theaters? Like, only certain places have it. Like, I'm talking about, I, I don't put my business out there, but where I live, I've checked all the theaters. And then even the bigger city that I'm located beside, I've checked all those theaters. I've checked all surrounding theaters. Nowhere can I find Precious. I am so jealous of all the people who've gotten to see it. Like. Oh my gosh, I want to see this movie. And on top of that, of course, all these TV shows are going to have the star of Precious and everyone coming on there talking about it. And I'm sitting over here like, oh my gosh, I really want to see it. Take my $10. Take it, take take it. I want to see, I want to see. And I can't. So that's kind of how I'm feeling right now. Not very happy, not very pleased. Kind of like, oh my gosh. All right, so the next thing that really is making me mad is... Let me tell y'all. Okay. So anyway, I was on Yahoo the other day. And I saw this, um, I saw this thing come up, this story about couples retreat. Because my husband and I were like, okay, we're going to go see it. And we're like, all right, great. Well, we actually haven't gone yet to see it. But right now, I'm not really sure if I'm going to go see it. Like, I'm, I still probably will. But I'm really disappointed in the people, um, the marketing directors or publicists or the person, director of promotions or whoever is in charge of making this dumb decision. Did y'all see that they have two different posters for that movie? Okay. First of all, the first poster that they have includes the black folks. The second poster does not include the black folks. There are four couples on the retreat that are stars of this. Mm, four, okay? The first poster with the four couples on there, you have Faison Love and Kaylee Hawk, or Kylie Hawk, Kaylee Hawk. Anyway, 
Faison. Everybody knows who he is, okay? He's a huge freaking star. He's been in so many freaking movies. Like, are you serious? The four couples, of course you have the white people in front. All three white couples. And then you have Faison and his freaking woman in the movie way back here, way in the back, zoomed out. Like, the part where you'd have to squint a little bit like this to even see them in the first place? Yes. Second of all, why, why, why are they wearing pajamas? Like, are you serious? All these other people, stars, I'm sorry, I'm bringing out the, the whole white and black thing because it still, it exists. It's not something that we should be all like, oh my gosh, about, but it still pisses me off. All the other stars in the movie have on cute dresses. Cute summer dresses that look like they could be by Dior or they could be like some Ralph Lauren, you know, spring, summer design, whatever. The black lady in this is wearing some gym shorts like she just came out of freaking high school and she's wearing a t-shirt with cut off sleeves. Why are all these other ladies dressed nice and she's dressed down? And the same thing with like Faison. I understand whatever character they may, may be playing in the movie may be portrayed that way, but my gosh, like do we always have to be the ghetto ones? Like are you serious? Like white people aren't ghetto too? Like I don't know. Oh Lord, who's that? I just feel as if for them to be on the cover or for them to be on the poster, they could have at least made them a little bit more presentable. I didn't really like that. Why did they have to be in the way, 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 way back? If it's their character's reasoning to dress like that, at least put them where they're visible. Where I don't have to, I'm sorry, I can barely see. I'm already squinting to be able to see them. And then when I do squint after straining my eyes for that long, I see that they're wearing pajamas. Are you kidding me? Perks. Now, let me tell you guys what really pissed me off. So, they have two different versions of this poster. The US poster has all four couples in there. The other poster is the UK version of they'd like as they'd like to label, which I call the racist version. Has no black people. What they did was took cut phase on and his um person out and they took the other people and put them three and three. Like so you see the three couples stand up beside each other. No black people whatsoever. Are you kidding me? There is a fourth couple that stars in this movie. As, in, as insignificant as the black people in the movie may be, we may be put in there technically for y'all standards to be just considered the funny people just for comedian's sake, just to mix it up a little bit, just to keep it a little bit of variety. Excuse me, I feel as if all of the actors play a significant role, and so do the black people. I'm sorry if the UK does not, they said that the reason, I guess when the um, person was asked, the person that was in charge of it was asked why the black people were cut out of the promotional poster, they said they were going to put, um, the reason being was that they wanted to put, they wanted to put the actors that were more well known in the poster. Faison isn't well known. Okay, not to be rude, but the Ke Kelly Hawk is lovely, lovely. But I've never, I, I don't have a name face recognition with her, but she's still a part of the cast. My thing is, Faison, he's known. Like, that's some, that's a BS excuse. Like, are you kidding me? We're always cut out of everything. We don't want no trouble. We don't want no trouble, no day. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause lady, where you come from, people die there every day. Yeah, yeah. For our safety, that's where you should stay.